Hey guys, we're out to Unlocks today and we are going to look into how to rodeo and flat spin. We're going to learn to tell the difference between the two. It'll be a ride. Let's go to work, cause I'm tripping. Gotta work on myself, cause I'm falling apart. Please wake me up, cause I'm slipping. Can't fight this feeling off anymore. But before you do it on snow, it's super important that you do this onto an airbag or water ramp because they're quite tricky to get in the beginning to the trampolines. Now we're at Freestyle Academy and we're gonna go through the rodeos and flats on trampolines. These two tricks are like intertwined and there's a lot of confusion between the two names and I'm going to try to clarify it and I'm sure more than half of you are going to disagree with you. Not with you, but with me. I'm disagreeing with some of you. <laughs> I actually made a questionnaire once on Instagram, like what is this? flat spin or rodeo and I think that 60% of the voters answered wrong so we'll see how this goes please be kind in the comments you can argue for why I'm using the wrong terminology if you want to I don't really care what is right or wrong but it's helpful to have two different names for two different techniques so let's learn how to tell a flat spin apart from a rodeo a flat spin should never be more inverted than this and look at the center line from the head to the hip to see if that is happening. Because if the person is doing a Japan grab, it can look like that. Well, it's sort of actually quite flat. Um, well, the rodeo can be flippier, which means like you can be more like this. So that's the first way of telling them apart. The flat should always be flat or less. Well, the rodeo can be flippier. Second way of telling them apart is how it's set. Because they are looking very similar. The rodeo has a simpler set where he goes not straight back, not straight to the side, but in between and backwards. And this is what people often call a flat three. It's not. So in between there, you get that sort of crooked backflip thing. And if you have a Japan grab, it's gonna look even more crooked. While the flat spin is similar, he punches the arm forward and sort of pops forwards with the body in front of the kicker and the feet and then goes into this groovy rotation. And that's how you tell them apart. The flat spin is more forwards. Here's the takeoff, I want to do a rodeo. I've been riding in. You want to have this sort of set. Bam! And you will jump into this position. So you're a little bit crooked. Get the grab there. And from here, you sort of backflip out of it. This is what makes the flat harder. Because you have this really uneven pop that also shoves the body forwards. One way of thinking about it is that you want to land in more or less this position that you jump, bam! And here you land and get the grab, basically. Let's try some on the super trap. Step number one, we're gonna do a rodeo type backdrop. And by the way, make sure you know how to do a nice backflip and side flip before you're even thinking about trying this. This is straight back. You don't wanna land here. Then you do a backflip. You wanna lay sort of here, 45 degrees in between the side flip and the backflip. Important that you keep your legs up high you can grab a Japan grab or safety grab, it can help you. Japan's are sort of the most appreciated grab on this trick. And one of the reasons why it's so popular is that it slows down rotation, well, doesn't inhibit flip, if that makes sense. All right, let's try it. Let's start absolutely tiny. If you can land in the right position, 
should be able to flip over. Oh. It's a little tricky, but what is good with the backdrop is that it helps you really go up and back, which is key. If that feels good, have a friend spot you and throw a mattress under, and you can try really sending it. So that's a backflip, straight back. That's a backflip with a Japan grab now. And now let's go a little bit crooked from that. Oh, that's what a lot of people call flat three. Road three, or a backflip with Japan. So that was a progression how you can go from backflip straight back to rodeo three on the side, closer to a flat three, which is a little bit more forward. And what we're gonna do now is add a 180 to the rodeo three. So we have a rodeo five. So for the rodeo five, I'm gonna think rodeo three, but I'm gonna throw the left arm a little bit firmer back to generate more rotation. It's gonna look something like this. Did you notice how the rotation came pretty late and sort of quite blind like that? And that's typical for the Rodeo 5s that that easily happens. Uh, once you got the Rodeo 5s down, which I struggle with a little bit to be honest, because I avoid doing it, the flats are cooler. Um, it's time to add a little component to your set. We're gonna have that like punch forwards. I actually set it a bit more with a rotation and a punch forwards and then you have that little 90 degree and tip forwards and then the flat five happens, which is, you will feel it. It feels quite similar to the rodeo. So when we're doing the rodeo three and five set, we try to land on our back, like diagonally behind you. To think about the flat three and five, you have to think a little bit in front of you just a little bit in front of your feet. You can try doing a backdrop here too, but it doesn't make as much sense. The head goes maybe straight to the side or slightly forwards. It's more apparent of the jumps. Check it out. And the flat five often feels way more smooth. The rotation and the flip, it's not a flip, it's more like one. Just to tell them apart, this is a misty. So the flat ain't a misty if you're wondering. So, uh, now I've been skiing and trying my flats, rodeos, threes, five, sevens, and even a nine. Uh, and I'm going to give you my five cents on the topic. Uh, I started this jump session setting them all forwards, what I would refer to as flat fives. And with a flat five, like the one of the biggest problems is that as you punch and rotate and sort of have this forward uh, motion, the trickiest thing here is to stop the rotation at five and not go over towards 6.30 or 7.00. And that's why like Japan grabs are really awesome for this, especially with the legs pretty wide apart, so it slows down the rotation. That's why Japan is really, really useful on this trick. Uh, also did a little road, no, flat forwards again. Uh, seven safety felt pretty good, as I do think that's almost easier than the five, because it's more natural to come around a flat seven and flat five. It's like easier way in. Um, it all felt really good. And I really do feel like I, like I showed you on that cushion when I was standing uh, still in the Frisell Academy, to jump forwards, and then you lay with the head completely down the hill. You look up at the jump for a little moment, get the grab, and you're like, shit, I don't see anything, I'm blind. And then you look over your shoulder, it feels great. So that was the flat fives and sevens. Going for the rodeo 360, so the backward set in between the backflip and side flip with Japan. Haven't done that for a while, felt great. 
what a nice feeling trick this is. Yeah, it's really important with the patience that you set it. Yeah, so keep looking forwards and then go over crookedly over that shoulder. Um, also, this trick feels great with the Japan grab. Um, once I've done it a couple of times, I decided, okay, let's try to do what I consider a rodeo 540. So backwards over the shoulder. So I had basically the same set. I just like spin the left arm backwards a little bit firmer, just like I did on the trampoline and boom, came around that rodeo 540. But um, that are like my five cents that you should have in mind when doing the rodeos and flat spins. I also think that what you call it is a little bit location dependent. I think the you North think so? Americans are a little bit more into calling it uh, like a roadie 709, you know, forwards. Hmm. I get that. But I do, I do think like Ewan Olsen had a big impact, on, impact it. on it, for sure. The only way that we're ever going to be able to like decide this is like figuring out who invented it and what they did. I, I do like that. The only way, uh, if oh, anyone I... knows like who invented the flat spin. I think it was invented in skateboarding. You think so? Yeah. What? Yeah. How the shit? Like on a quarter pipe? Not like a flare sort of thing. Yeah, like, like sort of like grab the board and have ah, that touch. Sure. I think that was the origin of flat spin. The Johnny Mosley, I I know for a fact that I've seen photos of him doing flat spins. But whether or not he called it a flat spin. And that's a mixture thing. between the back with the side flip, right? Yeah. yeah. But he was a he was like a free scared mogul scare. Legend. Back in the day. Basically. Yeah. But I bet it's true that it started like that crooked backflip thing. Mm. But I think that as free skiing has progressed, we sort of need both names. Flippier, it's just so version. funny how disputed people are about this. Yeah. It's uh, hilarious. Yeah, this trick. Agree to disagree. Yeah, check out new schoolers, people are calling each other horrendous names. <laughs> That's for new schools though. Summarize your argument, it's flat comes from moguls. Well, I, I, I think I'm pretty sure it comes from. And June Olson. Though, like the hot doggers back in the day, they invented it and they're all like mogul skiers. So, yeah. whether or not it was a mogul skiing trick back in yeah. the day. Oh, well, yeah, you also said before before the camera was on because they had such steep jumps and mm. do you think they went forwards in that? Not really. And I'm like, mm, fair point. Yeah. So, yeah. mogul skiing influence and you know, also in my two arguments. And mine is the name flat. It should be flat. Thank you for having a little statement in the video mm -hmm. and nice flats and rodeos in the She's video, fine. whatever they actually Likewise. were. <laughs> Just like a million of them today. It was fun as. It was freaking fun. Mayday, Mayday. Mav's in trouble. He's in a flat spin. He's heading out to sea. As you can see, me, my friends, etc., other professionals, they, uh, we, we can't really make our mind up on what to call these two tricks. So if you have some archive footage, some sources, it seems legitimate, please post them below. And I will write some comments if I actually change my mind in the end. But for now, this is what I think is a flat and rodeo. Like and subscribe, all of that good stuff. Maybe you want to join one of my camps uh, here in Lox or Stuba in the autumns. They're quite exciting. Uh, Take care and be careful learning this trick. It's not that easy.